So two of the uh, biggest stars of this Morty Alex side and two blokes have been shooting the lights out so far in the pre-season, Tommy Curry and of course the captain, Toddy Bastian. Uh, Cars, we'll start with you, mate. How have you found the pre-season so far? Yeah, no, it's been, been a good one. Been pretty, been pretty warm and nice conditions down here. Pretty lucky to have the grounds here, so uh, it's been, been great so far. Good numbers are sort of starting to pick up. We've got a camp this week, so yeah, it's sort of starting to heat up before the practice matches. Fantastic, and uh, obviously, Toddy, um, unusual to see you during a pre-season. Uh, what made you turn up this time around? Uh, I ran out of money, brought a house, so <laughs> couldn't, couldn't go to Central America this time, so it's good to be amongst the boys. Fantastic, and uh, who probably needs to lift their work rate, do you reckon? Uh, there's a few blokes, a couple of uh, recently, um, recent firemen that have sort of kicked things off and they've probably been, uh, been a bit lazy, but um, yeah, a couple of those blokes and uh, Josh Cavara is certainly one that could, <laughs> could uh, lift his game. So one of the blokes not on the track I noticed is the uh, running BNF winner, uh, Benny Humphreys. He, uh, is he sort of above this, do you reckon, the pre-season now that he's a uh, BNF winner? Yeah, he's got, he's got a bit ahead of himself, Benny. Um, he's, he's drawing CrossFit again and he's just got himself a brand new mirror, so we see him once a week at the moment. And he's also, he just got announced as the 24th best player in the comp, so I think he's he's, uh, he's actually pretty pissed off with that. But um, <laughs> So he should really be at training, but anyway, he's, uh, yeah. Right, so we know for a fact Hump has got his eye on it. You blokes uh, following it closely, who else is looking at it? Uh, oh, Danny Nichols always thinks he's a fair chance. He doesn't tend to train too often, but he still likes to consider himself as a he's as in. a high performer. He's in, Nico. So um, I know Harry Haley. He watches it pretty closely. He texts him through to a few of the boys. So he thinks he's going to be top ten. So watch this space, Harry Haley. I know that you two blokes are on tender hooks at the moment. Just waiting for your name to no, be read. I, I wouldn't have thought so. No, no. A nervous wait. <laughs> <laughs> Is it good to see someone other than Toddy win it? Oh, it was actually fantastic. It was. Probably we thought Tob was paying off uh, off all the coaches for a while there, winning four in a row, but um, yeah, it was certainly nice to get someone else on presentation I'd get up and have a speech. <laughs> any uh, any goss from around the traps? Uh, you obviously went on the uh, end of season trip. Tell us a little bit about that. Who uh, who was best on? Who uh, probably let the team down? What are your thoughts? Uh, it's always good fun. We went to Adelaide, which was good. Um, Aaron Ebohm was probably, he was well performed and he came came in with a bit, bit of size about him being the off season, so, and he lived up to that, so yeah, he was probably the three votes. Fantastic, did you head along as well? No, I was, I, was, uh, I was actually saving from my own house, so I took things pretty easy, mate. No, fantastic. Uh, in all seriousness though, you've, um, you've got a good list, you've got a good bunch of recruits and you two boys, obviously two of the biggest stars and in bloody good Nick. Um, what are your thoughts for the year ahead? How far do you think you can go? Uh, yeah, sort of. I, I suppose the last couple of years have been pretty good for us. I, I think from here and around the traps, the comp certainly improved with the players that um, clubs have been able to draw. So it's certainly going to improve as a as a whole the, the competition. But I suppose just got to keep getting better. And I think if you know the injuries we had last year, we'll be able to get get the blokes on the track and sort of continue to develop that really str strong culture that we sort of started to build the last two years. So I think we're pretty optimistic, but obviously a lot of work in in, in front of us as well. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, from your point of view, you've had. Uh Two grand final appearances and a prelim in the last four years in Division One. Um, obviously, you want to make that extra step and win a premiership. How how deep is that burning within you? I think yeah, the group we've got at the moment, they're all they're, we are an older group at the moment, and everyone's here for the right reasons. So everyone really wants everyone. Everyone's had that disappointment from that last day, so we're we're all here to give it a crack this year. So exciting times. So a big year ahead for the Morty Alley Footy Club, no doubt. We'll see these guys high up in the uh, league best and fairest, no doubt. And uh, thanks for joining me, fellas, and. Best Best luck for the year. Thanks, Cheers. Thank you. Get your game face on.